Oh, okay, I was like, what? Did I do it? <laughs> oh, crap. Shit. I, <laughs> what's up, everybody? It's your boy here to give you guys, uh, I guess we can say this week's edition of uh, Tap Was and Trending Topics with T. I do want to say that I apologize. I did not. Well, I got to apologize. Uh, huh. I have to apologize for a lot. One, church announcements, y'all. Uh, first, uh, I know I did. <laughs> What's up? I know I did uh, trending topics two weeks ago. Uh, it was recorded. Hey, and it has been. What's up? It's been sitting on my uh, desktop the entire time. And like I said, we all know life happens, and you boys going through a lot over. I know, I know, I know, going through a lot over here. So wasn't able to do that uh, last Sunday. I just, I, I'll be honest, I just wasn't here. Because, like I said, we, I think we all are abreast to just the general shit that's going on, more or less on the YT. So, like I said, I'm dealing with that, dealing with personal, professional. Like, I'm taking L's personally on every fucking front. So, there's a lot going on. <laughs> and I'm just like, all right, I couldn't do that. And even if if you guys caught it, I, did, uh, I didn't even do shots sunset. Like, I didn't do shit Sunday, last Sunday. I still have shots stuff set to do tonight. Like today's gonna be a busy day. I'm like, fuck it. I'm going through a lot. I will give y'all trending topics today. <laughs> and then I gotta do Love and Hip Hop tonight, Shots of Sunset from last week, and Shots of Sunset for tonight. In addition to that, you know, like I said I'm currently moving rooms. So this is the last video that's gonna be shot in this room. I know when I get upstairs and I set everything up, y'all won't be able to tell. But that's kind of what's been going on this week is that I've actually been fucking moving. And huh, it's a fucking process. But Outside of all of that, go ahead and give y'all trending topics. Now, let me say, I don't know about y'all. Not a whole lot of shit happened last week. Not a shit, lot of shit happened this week, in my personal opinion. <laughs> well, thank you for still being here. In my personal opinion, because y'all know I don't say and talk about everything. So from what was out there, there wasn't a whole lot for last week or this week. So I'm kind of happy I didn't do one last week. But still, there wasn't a whole lot. But I'm going to talk about what I can. I'm going to talk about what I can. And just to let y'all know, if y'all are not abreast to it, I will no longer... like. Okay, last of the fucking announcements, y'all. I will no longer be vaping, okay? Like I said, I vaping was my solution to stop smoking. Like I said, been done with that. Went in for a recent uh, blood pressure check, and my shit was high. And pretty much, it's one of those where they upped the dosage and all this other shit. And it was like, if this don't work... We're going to put your ass on some additional shit. And I'm like, okay, I don't need to be put on any more medication than what I'm already on. So, we all know that nicotine, amongst other things, plays on the blood on the blood pressure. So, no more vaping. Now, I say that, and I'm about to sit here because I done pulled my ass a tall ass long guy. It's going to be hard for me to pick the motherfucker out. Like, I had to slide it, but like, this, this motherfucker tall right here. I never said I was giving up. Like, they tried to pull this shit on my ass last year. Like, you going to give up alcohol? No. <laughs> I won't give up a lot of shit. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not finna give up my drink. Delicious. All right. So let's go ahead and get to the trending topics because y'all know I'm stupid as fuck. As y'all know, how we uh, we start off with, you know, prayers, get into the meat and taters. We end with congrats. But as we're going through all this, I want everybody to think about the uh, who going to take the L of the week and who's gonna get the w of the week if the if if we even have one to give all right so in terms of prayers um let's send some prayers out to the family of uh billy paul he uh passed away this week from my uh, pink i think it's a uh, pancreatic cancer i think that's how how you say it um passed away at 80 if you guys don't know uh he he did a, a song that i so enjoy and I, I like hearing uh, Teddy Pendergrass's version of it. His version good too, but you know the infamous uh, "Me and Mrs. Jones" got a thing going on. That's back where you could talk about inf. You know, we we not gonna go there because I we could talk about infidelity and people not know how to play their motherfucking positions and shit. But you know, let's just send prayers out. You know, to his family. Like I said, he died at eighty. You know, yeah, and also to Miss Afini Shakur. Sh Shakur, okay, I can't, I've never been able to say Tupac's last name, Shakur, I've never been able to say his last name correctly, okay, forgive me, please forgive me, but she passed away, uh, was it this week or was it last week? I think, I think, no, she passed away earlier this week, um, at the age of 69, like I said, that was Tupac's mother, you know, uh, 
this week, like I said, definitely was an activist and all the other stuff, you know. <clears throat> but like I said, definitely, <clears throat> you know, we lost two big people, especially Mr. Feeney. And um, I'm not going to talk too much about the mess that's surrounding the uh, Tupac estate, but let's just say that she took care of her son's estate. And to my understanding, uh, ain't no greedy you-know-whats going to get their hands on that estate. And I think for that alone, she might get the W of the week. May she rest in power and rest in peace. Okay, now that we got the heavy ish out of the way, let's go ahead and we're we going to talk about some fuck shit. All right. So, um, I want to talk about something that, ain't, well, first and foremost, if you guys are not, well, I don't really like, do, uh, whatever. If you guys are not subscribed to, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, I, I don't even want to get into that because, you know, I, I, mm -mm, I'm, I'm going to leave that alone. But um, if you guys are not subscribed to Much Love from KY on YouTube, I don't know what y'all been doing. <clears throat> but like I said, I love her. Like I said, she she is a character. But she did a uh, video and I, I was I didn't even know about the issue until she brought it up. And actually, oh, I love her, too. And I ran into this topic this morning as I was gathering the last of the topics. And I believe the girl's name is uh, uh, Tanya or Tanja Jones. Y'all know I'm not mispronouncing like y'all know when I mispronounce somebody's name um, for comedic relief. Because y'all know I don't like nobody mispronouncing my name. But this young girl uh, is a uh, heavyset girl. She uh, went on prom. And she decided to uh, upload pictures that were taken of her. And this right here, it, it really hurt my heart. Because like I said, I've been honest about it. I, well, one, y'all, like I said, I've done a video about me losing 49 pounds. And like I said, I was a bit heavyset in my teenage years anyway. I know. I know such beautiful. And it was one of those where it's just like... She was trying to enjoy this moment, was trying to enjoy this moment. And what happened? You had some hating ass people deciding to have those Twitter fingers, Facebook fingers, IG fingers, and literally begin to tear this girl down because she's a heavy set girl. So pretty much she can't put a picture up. She can't sit here and, you know, just try to enjoy this day because I'm pretty sure some people had some sideways shit to say to her there, but you know, she was standing in her shit. You feel what I'm saying? Like she was being, you know, big, fabulous and beautiful. And then what happened, you know, people decided to sit here and tear her down. And I get, and this one of those ways is like a lot of people that do shit like that. It's all psychology people. It it really is all psychology because I guarantee you some of the people that were hating on her might not have been fat, but what they were probably, Oh, she, Oh, here's the thing. Nina got, uh, y all, y all, <laughs> Nina, Nina gathers so many motherfucking wigs and hair shit. She can create about a good 15 wigs off those fucking people. You feel me? But I'm not here to read nobody. But what I am here to do is cause I'm going to talk about this and I'm going to move into something else after this. But what really got me is like, I'm pretty sure the people that have this, these things to say, they probably are, you know, heavy set. But what they are is insecure. And typically, whenever someone has so much hate built up inside of them or have so much anger that they have to push it at somebody else, it's more or less because it's something about that person that resonates with them. You feel me? So chances are... They're probably not mad at this girl because she's big. They're probably mad at her because not only is she a big girl, but she was doing a damn thing and she decided, you know what, fuck y'all. I'm going to go out here and I'm going to slay and I'm going to do what I'm going to do. So people are so mad at her because she has the confidence to do this. So their whole intent is since I am insecure myself and because I don't have set confidence, I'm going to sit here and pray on the confidence of somebody else <clears throat> and in them doing that. This young girl had put on her Facebook, I should have never posted these pictures. Should have never posted these pictures. And if I'm not mistaken, I think she even took down her Facebook post. All for what? Because you want to fucking be insecure. You can sit here and take what I said and apply it to any, anything, anything. You know what I'm saying? Like with Prince, we can say the same thing with Prince. Prince did his thing. You had so many people that had so much shit to say. Prince just didn't give a flying fuck, but they were mad because Prince could do him, not give a fuck about what other people think. You have, you, I'm not even going to do this. I am not going to do this because I'm not, I have other shit to get myself worked up about. And this is, wait, 
Oh yes, they they definitely lack the confidence. Definitely. <laughs> The original, the or, but no, it's but it's it's shit like that that really does upset me. It it does because for whatever reason <clears throat> you're jealous and insecure. You're preying on this because they're hoping that this woman is in or this young lady is insecure. So we're going to attack that all for what? And it's one of those like, do you really feel better about yourself because y'all sat here and y'all got to her? And I think the only thing that upsets me more is that there was, I'm not saying that no one was in her corner, but it, the appearance is there was no one that was really in her corner to snatch her up and be like, you know what? Don't let this phase you. You are beautiful. No matter what size you are, you are beautiful. No matter what skin color you are, you are beautiful. No matter what, cor what type of hair you have, you are beautiful. Love yourself despite what other people may think. And that right there, and like I said, this is just general to any and everybody. No matter what size you are, you are beautiful. No matter what your skin complexion is, you are beautiful. No matter what type of hair texture you have, because y'all see, y'all see mine. Like I said, y'all not gonna get tea spilling day. Y'all just finna get y'all real. But you are beautiful. And this is to any every this is to any and everybody. This crosses all nationalities, all races, all everything. You are beautiful. Shit, if y'all seen my fucking video when I talked about when I lost the 49 pounds, your boy was 275. I was big as shit. I was big as a blip. But you could, but here's the thing I still had confidence and shit. Because you're not going to say and tell me I'm not beautiful. And even if you do, it doesn't matter what you think about me. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you for your hey, hey, only because I'm moving and you know I have shit plays there where y'all not getting tea spilled today. But y'all just finna y'all just finna get y'all real. But I'm just saying, we're all beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Especially when I'm talking to my melanated people. We are. It's when it's programmed into us that you are not beautiful or you need to strive to achieve a different standard of beauty that you know it destroys us because pretty much so many black people and now i'm gonna speak to my people now so many of us it's like okay you are oh of course blame the media you're not beautiful everything about you is not beautiful but then you have other cultures that want to sit here and take what is said that wasn't beautiful for us and make it beautiful for them now i'm not saying that black people are the only you know people that have big lips and big asses not saying that we are because there are other cultures, but you have other cultures that don't have these things genetically that want to sit here and be like, you are less than, you are ugly because of, but want to sit here and so make us feel bad about it, but then take it away from us. Want to sit here and say, oh, your braids are ugly, but now I want to sit here and call these motherfucking boxer braids and want to sit here and pretend like I didn't invent the motherfucking shit. Nah. Very, very distinct. So... Now, I want to transition, you know, but like I said, first and foremost, you know, to, you know, Miss uh, Tanya, Tanya Jones, however we say her name, you know, I, pr I said, I pray nothing but healing to her and the wigs to her. Like, I really pray as she gets stronger and she uses this shit as her motherfucking motivation. But let's move on to Miss Kim. Okay, we're we going to talk about the original Queen Bee. We're going to talk about the original. Now... I think we all have seen the pictures that have um, been all over the internet. Yes, healing and love her way. Yes. I've seen the pictures of uh, Miss Lil' Kim. Now, I love me some Lil' Kim. I do. I love Lil' Kim from the fucking 90s. Love her. From not tonight, you know, to crush on you, you know, no matter what people say, hey, we got to go. Like, I love... Look, Kim, baby, I don't think y'all understand, like, and I'm talking about the 90s, look, Kim, even, you know, because I'm trying to figure out when did Lady Marmalade come out with them, even, because even then I was still fucking with Kim until, you know, Kim start playing around and doing some shit. Now, we're not going to negate the fact that she had, okay, early 2000s, okay, so 90s Kim to the early 2000s Kim. But, like I said, we know that she was in an abusive relationship, had some surgery done, I believe, in her nose. Uh, and she got hit while the nose was still uh, healing. And then went and had more surgery on top of that. And then from there, I guess she was chasing a certain type of beauty. I think part of it is, I think that she has... Um, 
unknowingly been comparing herself to Faith Evans. Because if you really think about it, and, and, and I'm, I'm really not trying to be shady. I'm really not. I'm, I mean, granted, I can say I'm not trying to be shady, but y'all can sit here and say that I am. But if you think about it, if you look at how Faith Evans is and think about what Look Kim is trying to be. Yeah, well, you know, anime character, y'all don't like anime now. It's and really, she talks about, uh. But what I'm saying is like she's chasing. It's, it appears that she is chasing this type of view of of uh, beauty. You feel what? And they, like I said, here's the thing. Like I said, I'm an equal opportunity love. You feel what I'm saying? Like I don't give a fuck, like shit. I, I don't give a fuck what you know the race is. Like I said, y'all know I was over in Korea. Now I don't really find Korean would be attractive, but the Filipinas, Japanese, Chinese, hey, hey, not the point. It's not why we're here. But what I'm saying is, you can tell that early on there wasn't an appreciation of self. You, you can see that and the fact that you're chasing after something else and not because here's the thing look him even up until when she started to get dragged like I'm talking like, let's just say from Lady Marmalade all the way back look any one of those Kims were good you feel me and I, I'm not trying to be funny but she has always been a beautiful girl now, mind you, when she first came out, yeah, you know, she was a little rough around the edges. You know what I'm saying? All right, I, I ain't gonna lie. Give me a little bit of free gas off of impieties or the other way around. I don't really know. But I'm just saying a little rough around the edges, but she was still a fucking lady. And it just saddens me that this is where she has gotten to. But I want people to be able to look at this and understand this is what happens when you don't love yourself for who you are. Now... If, if you feel that you need to do this or that to feel better about yourself, it is what it is. But Noah understand that these things don't last forever. Plastic surgery don't last forever. You can sit here and get breast implants. That shit gonna sag eventually. You gonna need a tune up. You know what I'm saying? It's just like these things will happen. We all age. Life happens to all of us. No matter what you do to yourself cosmetically, you feel what I'm saying? Noah understand that life will still happen. You're still going to age. Why not embrace it? You feel what I'm saying? But shit, I, when I had my two knee surgeries, I was fucking scared. No, uh, -uh no. <laughs> oh yes, oh of of course. I mean, but the media in general wants you to feel that you need to add to yourself to look better to feel better i think that's one of the things that i really missed about the 90s because you had so many women that like i mean from lauren hill to Aaliyah to left eye like you had so many women that they didn't have to do much to look beautiful they didn't have to sit here and put on all this shit. They didn't have to sit here and do all the crazy shit with their head. They didn't have to do much to be beautiful because they were beautiful. The whole girl next door look and persona or just who they were was beautiful, you know. But what I want is hopefully, you know, we can sit here and, you know, reach out to our brothers and sisters, you know, to our left and to our right, especially those that are below us and really help them to know and understand that you are beautiful. Honestly, they do have natural beauty, but just understand that you are beautiful. All right, okay. I I think I, I think I didn't I don't how to get on this a little too long. Let me go ahead and move up one. Ah, well, here's the thing. Oh, I just learned what the fuck contour and all that shit was just recently. But again, I'm a dude, so I'm not really expected to know this shit. But anyway. Let's talk about Mariah Carey. Let's talk about Miss Mariah. Now, <laughs> sermon Sunday. <laughs> I be try. I be trying not to sit here and take y'all to church. I really be trying not to. Never mind. Sometime it just happens. And the fun thing is, like, I ain't even made it through the drink yet. Like, if y'all notice, sometimes when I've been drinking for a hot minute. <laughs> We're not gonna do it today. We're not gonna do it today. But look, but uh, I'm sorry. I'm about to look at Mariah Carey. She did a show in South Africa. Okay, <sighs> pays me to say. Okay, so Mimi got her ass on stage. <laughs> it's not my job to take you to church. It's not my job. But she got her ass on stage in South Africa. 
<laughs> and decided that she was going to sit here and give a lap dance. Okay. Now, Mimi, when you came out with Butterfly, I know this was supposed to be your emancipation, okay? Because, you, you know, you came out with the song called Honey. I stopped seeing it for Mimi a long time, a long time ago. It's, it, it, stop beating me to my points now. <laughs> stop beating me to my points. But, and then you're going to drop Emancipation to Mimi. And I felt this was a problem because you just felt like, you know what, fuck it. Now that Mimi is out, I can do whatever the fuck I want to do. Now, Mariah, Miss Mariah, we know you can't dance. You can't even two-step, okay? You can't dance, you can't two-step, okay? Your ass can barely whistle. Barely. But what I'm going to need for you to do <laughs> is why you trying to sit and give a lap dance? Just sit your ass down. Please sit your ass down. Just just sit your ass down. Okay. Grab your mic. <clears throat> Fuck it. I'm, I'm going to use this. Grab your microphone now. Okay. Grab, my, grab your microphone. So you see how I'm sitting down right? S sit your ass down like Rosa did. Grab your mic and just sing, okay? Don't don't sit here and sit on somebody. No, don't, don't uh, let's not sit on no laps. Let's not, because you can't dance. So if you can't dance with your feet, I don't know how the fuck you thought you was going to dance with your ass. I digress, but sit your ass down, grab your mic, sit your ass down, and just say, okay, J just do that. You you doing you doing too much, okay? Okay, you out of order, okay? You out of order. Just stop, okay? J just just stop. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm gonna give y'all a moment if y'all want to sit here and address me, me, okay? All I gotta say, yeah, happy Mother's Day, to all y'all, and yeah, you are late now, cause I'm on here cutting up and shit. Yeah, they just, they really do need to just shut the fuck up and sing sometimes. Sometimes. In this case, she really does need to just stop. <laughs> Completely. Okay, um, I just wanted to address that. Alright, you know what? Let me go to my tablet. I got two topics here, but... And if y'all haven't noticed, we probably not gonna be here very, very long, because like I said, it wasn't a whole lot. Oh, oh okay, see, now, now... I'm going to have to ask you not to do that because you're going to make me say some shit about Bianca. And then I'm going to get people mad. So we, 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 mm, we ain't going to do that one. We ain't going to do that one. Okay. So let's talk about... Um, don't do... <laughs> uh, I, I, you see, y'all going to have your head being messy today. I'm, try, I'm really trying not to be messy. I'm really trying not to. So... <clears throat> no, no, I'm not going to do it. So let's go ahead and talk about some, um, when reality television goes wrong. Now, y'all know I reviewed Real Housewives of Potomac. It, whew, it worked on my nerve. It, wor it worked on my nerve. Uh, okay, pause. <clears throat> when have I ever been scared of the fucking beehive? Because I did a video talking about fucking formation. I think only one person made a comment on the video talking about some I'm jealous of her and yeah, you can fucking have that. I'm not scared. I am not by any means scared of the fucking beehive. But at the same exact time, I don't... See, here, see, yeah, see you're trying to get me started. You're trying to get me started. But, but let, let me be very, very clear. I ain't scared of no motherfucking body. All right. <laughs> I ain't scared... Of ointment, ointment for what? Oh, oh. Well, see, I don't, I don't, I don't need that. I really don't. Cause here's my whole thing. Oh, cause I mean, well, here's the thing. If you think about it, fuck a beehive. Now, I like now. I'm scared of wasp. Cause if a bee stings you, they're gonna die. Ninety five, well, actually ninety nine percent of the time, unless that stinger does not detach itself, you're going to fucking die after you fucking sting because you want to sit here and defend a fucking queen who is not the original queen bee. The original queen bee is having their fucking identity crisis right now. But when you have to sit here and have a website to sit here and tell people that I am your queen, you need to act as such. I'm just saying. I am just saying. That's number one. Number two. Oh, here's the thing. A bee sting will hurt, but what about wasp? See, wasps are assholes. See, bees can... 
I'm not. I'm gonna be nice. Bees contribute to the ecosystem. Wasps don't. A wasp will sting your ass and then sting you and sting you again and sting you again and sting you again. I care more about wasps than I do bees. And I do have allergies now. Let, let's let, let's be clear. But mine are against yellow jackets and white face hornets. I'm not allergic to any fucking bees. You know. Ting. So. Let us be very, very clear. And um, unlike a lot of, unlike a lot of the fucking beehive that have to hide behind other people's fucking faces and shit, I don't have to. So before any, so I'm let, so let's just be clear right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, like again, that's what I'm saying. I'm choosing to be nice, but you know, I have a, I have another song that is on my heart right now because y'all know Teach Campbell's. Lazy bitches on my spirit, but um, I heard a song and it was like, I don't want nobody fucking with me in these streets, cause I don't want nobody fucking with me in these streets, cause ain't nobody got time for that. Ha ha ha, and we're moving on, cause ain't nobody got time for that now. Back to the Real Housewives. <laughs> I know. I fucking enjoyed that shit. That's probably going to replace Lazy. I think that's going to be my fucking anthem for the remainder of this damn year. Yeah. Okay. All right. Calm down, y'all real. Calm down. Calm down. Okay. So, <laughs> you you need to... uh. Get on it. You, you, it, it's like what I think, like a one minute clip is her, Brandy, <clears throat> and I think old girl who used to be on Amen. I think that's the other girl. Toe that shit up. Toe that shit up. All right. Real Housewives of Potomac. Now, we all remember Giselle Grant, and she had admitted on there <clears throat> that she was married to, um, Jamal Bryant, which <clears throat> it really wasn't that mission, but married to him, but said that him cheating was the reason for them divorcing, right? Well, <clears throat> after that, guess what? He is now caught in a fucking cheating, I guess, I won't say cheating scandal, but he's in a scandal right now. So you have a woman by the name of Latoya Odom is claiming that uh, Jamal is the father of her nine-month-old child. And <clears throat> she says that she uh, was a massage therapist for an event that he was doing. You know, and you can infer the type of massages that she was giving. They made nice, fell off, <laughs> and then they reconnected. They did some things. She came up pregnant, and he wanted her to get an abortion and was going to pay her a hefty fucking sum. Now... That wasn't good enough for her. And she decided that she was going to come on and say some shit. And not just that, y'all. Not just that. And she also, also provide, you know, some receipts, if you will. All the DNA shit to confirm that he is the father of said child. So, I know a lot of people <clears throat> are upset because, you know, this is supposed to be a man of God, this and the third. I am not going to touch on any of that. What I will say is this. <clears throat> the moment you sit here and you put any human being on a pedestal when you serve God and when he says that I am the Lord your God, you will serve no one but me. The moment you put a man, he does. But the moment you put a man or a woman or a human being on a pedestal, <clears throat> is the moment you already messed up. Let's be very, very clear and very, very frank about that. I would suggest that either A, y'all people either A, stop going to his churches and whatnot and watch um, um, artists, if you will, where it's just like, okay, you, ne you never do that. But what I'm saying is like R. Kelly, for instance, you have a lot of people that respect R. Kelly the artist, and everything else R. Kelly don't fuck with. So it's just like, we're going to separate your professional from your personal. So that's all I'm going to say. You know, y'all, those who feel some kind of way could do that. But understand, this is what happens when you put someone on a pedestal. All right. So we go move on. We, we, we go move forward. Now, we had to have a um, sit down with uh, this individual. 
uh, a couple weeks ago. Because I done went from sitting here giving this woman the utmost praise. And now I'm just sitting here shaking my motherfucking head just like, what the fuck are you doing? Now, for those of y'all who are constant watchers of the show, do y'all know who I'm talking about? The person that I just sat here and I done praised because you done sat here and you done re you you did a good rebound game, and then you and you're fucking up. You fucking up. For those of y'all who do not know who I'm talking about, I am talking about Manetta Shaw. She is fucking up, people. She is fucking up. So, we all know that she has her book out. <clears throat> and she then went to Boston. She Again, yeah, she fucking up. She then went to Boston, right? And she decided to talk about um, having a threesome with Neo. So, this is what she said. So, here we go. Story time. Uh, well, you know, hey, sometimes I gotta get some of my shit from boss. If you know, sometimes boss will give me a little more, you know. But just, just wait now, y'all. Don't type because y'all not gotta look down the read. So, so do me a favor, give me a minute. <clears throat> but she says, You're in a relationship, you know, your partner. I wasn't prude, I went hard for my relationship. It was, I'm sorry, it kind of happened, and that's what it was. The reason why I thought it was important for me to put it in there, meaning the book, just when my daughter gets old enough to read it or my son, it's necessary because whatever you do, you ain't going to keep them. Maddie, don't do it, girl. If it's not what you want <clears throat> at the time, it was what I wanted. I'm not proud of it and I wouldn't recommend it if, I'm sorry, if, I'm sorry, recommend it if it's not part of your lifestyle. Dot, dot, dot. I've never tasted the seafood. Let's be clear. Dot, dot, dot. I have no desire to taste, teef, uh, taste seafood. Now, I think the girl named Crystal Renee, I think that's uh, Neil's current wife. Um, she did. She went to her Snapchat, took a picture. I didn't put it here. Hope, I'm trying to go off the dome for this part. Talking about some. So now you're confessing or some shit like that. Manetta clapped back with why are you stalking me or some shit like that then Renee was just like girl bye and I'm like I'm just trying to figure out girl why if this is in the book now because I think what it was is explaining why would she put the fact that she had threesomes in the book and I guess it's I, I guess a proof of point. Now, here's the thing. If it's to your daughter saying you ain't going to keep them, I got it. Um, But what is that really saying to your son? <laughs> I mean, if your son is having a fucking threesome, well, you ain't going to keep her. He probably not thinking about keeping her. He probably thinking about getting his motherfucking rock off. Let's be clear. And, but then if he knows in his mind, oh, I'm not going to keep her. Okay, so I can sit here and manipulate. You feel what I'm saying? Just like it's one of those where I'm not really getting it. I'm I'm really not getting it. And the only thing I can think of is maybe just maybe she wants to get more publicity for this book. But it's one of those where it's just like in doing this till all book, you also have to remember it's not just your life. You have your kids' life and whatever children. I, Cause I I don't know if if uh, Crystal and Neo have a child together. I think they do. But there are going to be multiple children involved in this. It's so much slander. And it's just like, why not bow out gracefully? Especially when you... Oh, they do. Especially when you are married or dating or whatever to a fucking billionaire. Like, I'm not getting it. Exactly. That's all that she needs to do. And I, I'm a fan of having your own. I, I, I mean, I am not against it. But come on now. And this is one of those where it's making you look so bad in the long run. That is all that this is doing. It's making you look so fucking horrible. And at the same exact time, if we're going to be very, very frank and very, very clear, 
You're showing yourself to be weak as fuck. The fact that he was able to talk you and to bring somebody else into the bedroom. My whole thing is this. All right, let's talk, y'all. This is why I fucking respect Miss uh, Hosseline Hernandez. This is why I respect Miss Hosseline. Because Miss Hosseline will stand in her shit. Okay. See, you said co parent. We're we going to talk about some co parents in a minute. But, um, Hosseline, they made, made her, she didn't stay to her mother claim, look, this what it is, this what I do, it is what it is. But, Jocelyn, Jocelyn don't care. Apparently she does. And again, it's so much kids are involved. Kids will be involved. And I don't think that she thought this shit through. But again, world ain't safe. In a world full of double hoes. I, I, I've been trying to tell y'all since I came on. Y'all need to... <laughs> But no, uh, but here's the thing, though, on some real shit, though, on some real shit, you know, remember when we all were talking about the book, and I believe one of y'all had said, fuck a tell-all book, write a book on how to snag a fucking billionaire, I was like, exactly, like, apparently, you doing something right, apparently, Janet Jackson, be nice, she doing something right, because she got a billionaire, you know what I'm saying, like, I don't know. But I digress. Now, we're going to have <laughs> another story time. Now, um, <clears throat> really quickly, to all my mothers, and y'all know why I say this, to all my mothers out there, can y'all give me a little hand emoji? Because I really feel, I really feel y'all about to go in. Uh, is, is he going to be y'all or if there's, you know, anybody from the LGBTQ community? One of the two groups finna go in. <laughs> oh, yeah, Mariah's not, yep. Yeah. Okay. Again, one of these two groups about to go in on what the fuck I'm finna say. Because this shit, I was just like, oh, Lord, oh, Lord. And you know what? This is Mother's Day, too. Damn it. This is Mother's Day, too. So when I get done, I'm going to let I'm going to open the doors of the church and I'm going to let the mothers go in and let have. But before I do, let's read. It's a story time. Let's read. So it uh, involves singer and songwriter writer. <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, Kevin McCall. Uh, Eva, uh, Mar I, I believe her name is Marcel. She was a uh, one of, uh, she's, uh, I think either season two or three, America's Next Top Model. Beautiful, beautiful woman. Wait, wasn't it Pigman or something? Maybe she got married. I don't know, but Eva, that girl, Eva, you know. Hold on, wait, 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 give me a second. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure that's the same Eva. Hell yeah, same Eva. So, so her, she got murdered, but her. And her makeup artist, Terry uh, Mullins. And if I'm not mistaken, I think he's also. Did he Tamar's uh makeup artist? I'm not sure. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. But like I said, he's overly gay. All right. So we have all of this. So Terry had posted a picture of um Eva and Kevin's daughter on his um Instagram, and he referred to her as his little princess. Or as his princess. Now, to me, I don't really see a problem with it. Okay, you know what I'm saying? I mean, because I don't fucking, I don't know the relationship. Shit, he might babysit, but I don't see a fucking issue with that. But I think this, I think what we're about to talk about is when fuck boys get in their feelings and when you got bitch motherfuckers in their ear. So here, here's what happened. So instead of uh, Kevin calling him, because this even semi comes up. He goes to his fucking Instagram and types this soliloquy. Put some respect with two K's, capital K's, on it. No matter how incredibly hard anyone tries, they will never be half, capital H, of the man with a capital M or dad with a capital D. I could ever <laughs> be in my flesh and blood with a capital B. My all capitalized, see my legacy. Careful who you quick to call your 
princess all the time, especially when she has a king with a capital K to call dad with a capital D already, not auntie or hunty. By all means, your help is greatly appreciated, but just like my male parts work fine making her when I laid with her mother. Now, right quick, right quick. Y'all see what happened when I laid down with her mother. Keep this in mind. I don't know. I don't know. But keep this in mind. He said mother. Okay. When I lay with her mother, I can take... Oh, I'm sorry. I can take excellent care of my baby solo dolo. If one... Think if okay, it's one thing to help a child in need, it's another to cross the boundaries and overstep our roles in people's lives. We will be speaking in person, nigga. Why the fuck won't y'all speaking in person to begin with? But anyway, please don't be afraid. I don't hit girls, keep being a good aunt. But stop saying it's your princess until you turn into a king. My babies only recognize their king, not a princess and his bride. No shade. <laughs> real is real. Tired of the bullshit and the lies. Put some respect on it. Now. Actually... I'm going to just let y'all go. I, I, I'm going to just open the floor. So to anybody that wants to comment. <laughs> to anybody that wants to comment. You know, weirdly enough, the some, like I'm pretty sure I'm in the same fucking generation. I think the only difference is my parents are baby boomers. I think that's probably the only fucking difference. I think I'm in this damn generation. <clears throat> I I'm going to let y'all fucking read shit. Hey, he might be my I and it's, it was one of those where like your your parents are too okay. Like I said, I'm 29. My parents are baby boomers. Feel me? But I'm just like when I say he came for his sexuality so many different fucking times, and I'm just sitting there just like, bruh. Like I want to find the original post. Oh, of course, it's jealousy. I want to find the original post because I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure he got drugged. Pretty sure this motherfucker got drugged. I'm just like, dude. No. We don't do shit like that. I'm like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I guess y'all didn't have y'all time. Okay, Jenna. Okay. <laughs> well, here's the thing. We all know what happens when motherfuckers get to talking and you bring in mother. Well, we're going to talk about what Mother Eva said. So here's what Eva said. Because, you know, mother had to step in. Happy life. Me and my mini me, hashtag beans, hashtag single mom, hashtag mom and dad, hashtag respect the truth, no hashtag co parenting, hashtag stop, hashtag plan, hashtag IG games, and get your life together. Now, you would think. You 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 really would think men would have been put on no diss when Kanye went off on was it I think it was Wiz Khalifa <clears throat> okay and then what happened Amber Rose okay mother came to fuck in gave an ass two piece they came to fuck back and gave his ass a biscuit and a drink with some soda she ain't have the she didn't even have to finish off the motherfucking meal. But she came back and finished it off. Made sure his ass was nice and full. And made so you would think that 
These motherfuckers will understand. Tread lightly when you're talking about the kids, but you don't bring the mother. And you don't mention the mother. Because once you mention the mother or the kids, and the kids already mentioned, that mother bear going to walk right the fuck in. Okay, she going to kick down from those, bust the windows out your car, take a Louisville sucker to the headlights and shit, and then going to leave your ass sitting there looking all destitute and shit. That's what the fuck didn't happen, okay? Oh, yes. They came all the way off. Yeah, uh, hey, uh, I'm, j I'm just that, that. And here's the thing. If y'all think I planned, because, you know, that, that, that was the post. I didn't say the shit. She said it, okay? Now... Hopefully, <laughs> fuck boys and everybody like will understand. Hopefully, if we can get this understood, leave the mothers and the kids out of shit. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. But you would think that was it, right? No, 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 no. Because uh, Terrell decided, <laughs> Mama Bear Club. Uh, Terrell decided he was going to clap back one good time. And he says, like I said before, and in all caps, my princess, hashtag, that shit ain't changing, hashtag, that's more than semen to be a father. So, you yeah, know, it was one of those where I'm just like, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Should have set your ass down, damn it. So, I got a couple more stories. <laughs> Woo. Okay. Now, cause like I said, because most of this shit came out last week. It was only a few things to surface this week. I saw that shit. This actually came out this week, if I'm not mistaken, but I knew about Holland. Yeah, don't don't know. <laughs> Mortal Kombat stop. <laughs> oh shit. I'm just like, y'all need to y'all need to stop. You know, you you right. You right. And again, it's just like was it even needed? Was it even needed? And I don't think that it was. I don't. But anyway. I'm finna, like, this next topic is gonna move me into the next topic, and then I'm gonna close out on the last topic, which ain't got shit to do with shit. Then we're gonna send out some congratulations, and then I'm gonna leave y'all to spend time with, you know, the ladies in your life. Or if you are set lady, then spend time with the kids, or, <clears throat> you know, the husband, baby daddy, whatever the case it may be. So... Let's talk about a little love of hip hop. Now, since this is the Mother's Day edition, I probably should have tired of that in this fucking video. But this is the Mother's Day edition of Tablets and Trending Topics with T. And y'all are here with your boy, y'all real, yes. Whoa. Tammy Rivera decided that she wanted to sit here and put a nigga on notice. All right. And if you guys under, if you guys know from the love of hip hop that is supposed to air tonight, you're going to have Miss Deb Adney. You're going to have Rashida. Her mother, I forget what her mother's name is. I, I, fuck, I can't think of her mother's name right now. Um, then you want to have Jock, no, not Jock, Scrappy and Mama D. All going to be, I think it's Shirley or Miss Shirley. One, but they all going to be together. Okay, so I'm just saying, so <clears throat> Tammy, mother-in-law, Mother Day edition. <clears throat> but she decided she wants to sit here and put a nigga on, the, on notice. And uh, be high, beware, because I'm, I'm going to talk about, you know, Y'all fearless leader. So. She took to her Instagram. I believe it was last week. And I quoted Beyonce's song. Don't hurt yourself. Okay. And what she did. Is she posted a picture. And it said hashtag lemonade. Hashtag stage. Anger. Hashtag don't hurt yourself. Well, y'all can see that's how. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hopefully y'all can read that. Hopefully. Now, let's talk for a second. Let's talk for a second. 
<laughs> now, first and foremost, Tabby ain't nobody fucking checking for your ass. One. Um, also, it's uh, <laughs> and you know. Also, I guess she didn't change her last name on one of her social media platforms on why cares. But I'm going to say this. And I need y'all to listen to me real closely. Beyonce go fuck y'all asses up. Okay. Beyonce finna fuck all y'all asses up and y'all don't fucking realize it. You do not fucking realize it. She didn't sit here and did a fucking song called Single Ladies. When she showed off her motherfucking... She is. Her fucking wedding ring on y'all asses, Right? So she's sitting here telling you, sitting here trying to get y'all to rally the fuck up and shit. Talking about all the same ladies while y'all in the motherfucking dance, on, on, in the club dance floor by your motherfucking self while she hurried up with her motherfucking dude. Mm-hmm. But y'all want to sit here and sing all the single ladies while your ass single, but she's sitting here hugged up with a nigga. Mm-hmm. Beyonce gonna get y'all asses in trouble. Beyonce sitting here singing, you must not know about me. Got your ass to singing, you must not know about me. To the left, to the left, your ass looking to the right because you still ain't got no motherfucking body. But he on somebody motherfucking arm when your ass look over to the motherfucking left. But Beyonce been sitting up with Jay-Z the whole motherfucking time. Mm. I'm just saying, Beyonce gonna get your asses in trouble. She ain't sat here and dropped this motherfucking li- <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, she didn't sit here and drop, you know, this lemonade on y'all motherfucking laps and shit. <clears throat> I I said, I wouldn't buy her brand lemonade, but she didn't drop the shit on your motherfucking lap and shit. Now, you got bitches want to sit here and quote Bianca, but she's still with her husband. She's still with her husband. While mo- now, granted, she married, but while most of these motherfuckers out here trying to sit here and quote Beyonce, most of y'all don't even marriage motherfucking material. But y'all trying to quote her. Mm. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> That's all that I'm saying is that because you, I'm, it's just like again, this is what happened when y'all put motherfuckers on pedestals and shit. And I mean for what it's worth, this seems like nothing but a good marketing strategy. If y'all don't watch my boy Trent and Trent, I watch him I love Trent and Trent. He done broke this shit down like a fucking frat to the lowest common fucking denominator on y'all ass. To, to, to. Check out Trent and Trent TV on motherfucking YouTube. This is, I, I didn't say it's not a paid endorsement, but I'm just saying. But what I am saying is, see, here's the thing. Because Beyonce got all these ladies falling into formation. And it's one of those where y'all falling into her formation, but everything she is sitting here mapping out for y'all is not her fucking life. It's not. She's talking about some ladies. Ladies, leave your man at home. Jumping, jumping. She had a man. Again, it's one of those, it's one of those which is like she's sitting here giving y'all all these women empowerment songs, but she with somebody. Whether it's a business deal or fucking not, she is with some fucking body. So, ta- so Tammy, Tammy, okay, while you sitting here trying to play around, trying to let him, let him know he gonna lose his wife, um, you a jump off, boo. <laughs> you a jump off, boo. Would you? I'm getting tired of y'all getting ahead of me now. Stop getting ahead of the program. But yes. So now that I'm done talking about ain't shit Tammy, because she ain't shit. Time to talk about Jay-Z. So allegedly, apparently, you know. Jay-Z. Is uh you get what I'm saying? Well, I'm glad you get what I'm saying. Jay Z is supposedly supposed to be doing a response album to Lemonade. This is one of those things where again marketing fucking strategy. Now, I f- I think it was Rhymes with Snitch when somebody put on there the fucking breakdown of how the fucking album would be. I did about fucking hot now. I'm now in this room. I don't have a fucking roommate and shit. I do have neighbors, but fuck them. In the room that I'm going to, I don't know if I can be this animated. I'm about to talk to my roommate, let him know. Like, look, bro, I do videos and shit, so you just might want to, you know, get ready because I, I do get loud and shit. But, <laughs> but I saw that shit. It took everything in me to keep from when I say I had to hold it back because I was about to laugh my ass off. That shit was fucking hilarious, let me tell you. 
But I laughed. I laughed from a good fucking place. That shit was so fucking funny. I don't know, but you know what? Better yet, y'all, why don't we do this? Because y'all know I love when y'all interact. What do y'all think? I I believe it was um, Rhymes with Snitch. And I feel bad because I should have looked it up. And because my internet is in the other room, I will look up on my tablet right now, but I can't. And if I try to look up on my phone, then y'all know that it's going to end the Periscope. So, But I think it's on Rhymes with Snitch, but the shit was funny as fuck. It was fucking hilarious. And um, let's do this. Why don't we all sit here and figure out what his clapback is like what the title of the album is going to be. I think the album is probably going to be named Kool-Aid. She named a lemonade. He might name it Kool-Aid. What y'all think? Somebody said hi C. What y'all think <laughs> that his response album is going to be if he does it? If he does it, what y'all think the title <laughs> is going to be? <laughs> oh, shit. I don't know. I mean, shit, we could call it Powerade, Gatorade, <laughs> White Punch. Ooh. Uh, I'm just saying, like, this shit had me laughing. I'm just like, I'm not finna buy the shit. I'm not even buying into the shit. <laughs> but. Okay. <laughs> oh, my boy. Shit. I don't know if he would name it Walmart water. <laughs> um wait, how about you do y'all remember Tang? Tang I see No, nah, cause see here's, if he do I see I'ma be mad because y'all know I drink Long Island. I would I would be mad. He might name it Tang. <laughs> oh shit. Or he could name the album Just Add Water. <laughs> Let me stop fucking playing. Oh. When I said I wasn't going to be messy, I said I wasn't going to be messy today. That, that's why I said tag. Because I'm not a big fan. Could call shit Old Country Time Limited. <laughs> I ain't no good. I ain't no fucking good. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. All right. So, let's go ahead and move to the very last topic. And before I move to the last... You got... Ain't, ain't shit wrong with Coach Have You know, I had to throw a little shade, but let, let me say this. Um, lemon shade. <laughs> um, with everything that I do have going on in my life, the reason that I decided to do this video today is I really, really felt that <clears throat> this would be good, you know, because I do this and YouTube as, you know, a vice, as a release to get away from just everything that I have going on in my personal life. And it's just kind of fucked up when, you know, the very thing that I go to to be a fucking release is one of the avenues that is bringing in, you know, some of the fucking drama. You feel what I'm saying? <clears throat> but <clears throat> I was just like, you know what? I need to do this today. Kind of get this shit off my chest a little bit and just be able to sit here and cut the fucking food. That, you know, I, I'm just saying, like, it, it's, it's really what it is. You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, because... Not a lot of people know. And when I mentioned this, oh, it's very therapy. When I mentioned this, I said, you know, I, <clears throat> I'm i not saying it for, you know, um, the whole, oh, I'm sorry type of things, you know. And I'm happy for it. I thank you. But like I said, last week, you know, I lost an aunt. <clears throat> it was uh, one of my uh, father's sisters. I'm going to keep it 1,000. I Okay. All right. <laughs> I I swear I have no idea what. Okay. Can y'all hear me? Because <laughs> y'all just said y'all couldn't. Can y'all hear me now? Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? 
All right. <clears throat> Again, see, see, fucking Periscope acting stupid today, acting fucking crazy. All right. So, what I was saying is, we're going to lastly talk about Caitlyn Jenner. As you guys know, yeah, we're back. As you guys know, I like to kind of stay away from talking about Caitlyn. Cause I ain't, I don't like upsetting anybody. Okay, I don't like upsetting nobody. But I heard this shit, and I was just like, you know what? Now we gonna talk about it. Yeah, no, we 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 yeah, we will. It's a very last thing. So I'm just like, fuck it, let's go out. <laughs> and y'all know the last time we talked about Caitlyn, I didn't do it, but y'all just said here, and when I say y'all buried this woman. Like, y'all cremated this woman, and then y'all buried her ass. Like, y'all didn't even scatter the ashes. I was just like, well, damn. Fuck. But anyway, yes, yes, y'all did. It was not me. It was not. God I'm sitting here like, I might be shady shit. No, no. Y'all, y'all sat here. Y'all, y'all took me to the king. That's what, that's what the hell y'all asses did here. You stop it. You about to have me spit up a damn track. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, make this shit real quick and sweet. Hopefully painless. <clears throat> so, we all know that Caitlyn, as Bruce, had won many, many of awards, right? Well, Caitlyn is supposed to pose nude for Sports Illustrated. And Caitlyn is only supposed to be wearing the medals that uh, she won as Bruce. <laughs> I would, you know, I'm going to give y'all a minute. I'm going to give y'all a minute. Because I wish I could make this shit up. But I can't. <laughs> I can't. But um, that is what uh, she is going to do. So <clears throat> look, look. Yes, she's going to be naked. I don't know how naked. I know that there that uh Chris had did a um photo shoot a while back where I think she had a flag kind of draped over um like one breast. Then her hand over another or some shit, but um, yeah, yeah. Uh, Caitlyn uh, Jenner is going to. Oh. <laughs> I <laughs> look. I don't know. I don't know. It might just be a top up. Sh look, I don't know. I first of all, I don't buy Sports Illustrated. I won't be even if I did. That is an addition that I will not be buying. <laughs> just not gonna happen. <laughs> But that was one of those where I'm just like, Caitlyn, Caitlyn, you out of order. <laughs> you out of order. <laughs> so I heard that. I'm just like, you know what? I'm going to throw it out there. I'm going to let y'all have y'all good kiki. Some of y'all are not kiki in, but damn it, I'm kiki in off y'all dead responses. I was like, what? <laughs> Come on, Daisy. <laughs> now, if y'all go back to when I did the song, Ain't nobody got time for that, okay? <laughs> Ain't nobody, no. No. <laughs> Never. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Y'all not gonna kill me today. <laughs> Y'all will not. Not today. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, shit. Ooh. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh. Hold on. Oh. Okay. Okay. 
<laughs> this is why I talked about it. Cause I Cause I knew y'all would go to fuck it. Oh shit! Okay, yeah, I need to yeah, give me a second, chat. Love. Uh. Whew. Okay. All right. I'm not trying to. <laughs> not trying to imagine. Okay, I didn't do it. I just brought it up. <laughs> You know what? I I will sit here and make a reminder to myself that um, I that we probably should not talk about Caitlyn Jenner no more on tabloids and trending topics with T because um, I don't know. I don't because I, it's no mercy with y'all. No mercy at all. Okay. I think we're safe to go ahead and go to the congratulations. And I'm going to be so shocked to figure out who y'all are going to give the L and the W to this week. But let's get to the congrats, okay? Congrats number one. Even though there is drama surrounding one of these two, I was not going to talk about it because I don't give them that much shine. <laughs> well, then y'all going to tell it to Caitlyn, okay? Y'all going to tell it to her, okay? Just tell it to her, but... Congrats to Black China and Rob K. Um, Black China is expecting, so this is going to be their first child together. So they're engaged and they are expecting their firstborn. So together. So congrats to them. <laughs> I will be very cautious about any more Caitlyn Jenner news that I mention because y'all, again, y'all got no mercy. <laughs> also, Rihanna's album, Anti, has gone double platinum. So congrats to Miss Riri. Elise Neal has been casted in Shark, I'm sorry, in Wolverine 3. I may not watch it because Wolverine 2 literally pissed me the fuck off. And Wolverine 1, I, I was kind of like, mm. But she's casted in 3, so. <laughs> um, I don't know what she's casted as. It hasn't been confirmed exactly what role she's going to play in Wolverine 3. But she has been casted. So, again, congrats to her. Now, I... I all I'm going to say is this. If they try to cast her as a storm, I don't Now, y'all know, I don't see it for Miss Berries. But if they try to cast her as a storm, we're going to have a problem. We got a problem. But anyway, with this next swim, I'm going to ask y'all to be nice, okay? These are the congratulations. So I need y'all to be I'm asking. I can't tell y'all, but I'm asking. Be nice with this next one. Stacy <clears throat> Dash has been um, <clears throat> casted in Sharknado Four, so she will be playing along. Long, she will be there alongside of um, uh, Cynthia Bailey, uh, Kenya Moore, and many others. Okay. <laughs> Why <Why'm> the <laughs> oh, Just a boo. <laughs> okay, so moving on. I'm glad y'all being respectful. <laughs> See, I asked y'all to be nice. See, <laughs> he said, <laughs> I swear, I be asking y'all to be nice, and y'all just be like, no, nope. no. Nope. <laughs> oh, ever. 
Okay. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, you was being nice? Okay, all right. <laughs> Stand open, bitch. Oh, sugar. Ooh. Okay, moving on. Moving on. Again, y'all know <laughs> when we get to congrats, we got to be nice, y'all. I, I, I do the congrats because I'm not, I'm really not trying to be shady, okay? <laughs> Y'all ain't no good. Y'all ain't no good. Oh, shit. Ooh. Ooh, okay, give, give, me, give me a second, y'all. I need a second. Okay. <laughs> What's the what? Next, Janet Jackson is expecting a child. I say that because we're not going to say first. We're not going to say second. We're not going to say who's carrying the baby. We're not going to say none of that. But we just going to say congrats to her. They got me hollering over here too, damn it. Shit. <laughs> but congrats to Janet Jackson. Okay. Congrats to, to, congrats to Janet, okay. Anyway, um, again, y'all know I do not like mispronouncing people's names, so this is in me. This is no way, shape, or form. Really, Nisa, this is no way, shape, or form being shaded. But I think her name is Lupita Nyong'o. Is this how you say her name? She has been nominated for a Tony for her role in Eclipse. So, black woman, I will. I'm assuming. I don't know for a fact because again, I literally found it this morning. But I'm, I believe she's uh, African. I believe she's African. I'm not sure. I did not have enough time to research her. But again, congrats to this chocolate sister. Congrats, congrats, congrats. Um, <clears throat> Jay Hud, Jennifer Hudson has been casted in Hairspray. It is going to be a live production on NBC, and <laughs> and um. It's supposed to air in December. I think uh, like early December it's supposed to uh, air. So congrats to Jennifer Hudson. Congrats. And y'all know I'm from Chicago and shit. So when I say congrats to Jennifer Hudson, I mean that shit. Congrats to Jennifer Hudson. Congrats, boo. Angela Simmons, she is engaged. So congrats to her. Hopefully she will go ahead and get married. Okay. Ex exactly. Hometown, baby. Hometown. Um, Last week, we're going to talk about last week because this is what I want to end on. Before I say this, it is sad that <clears throat> people are recognized more when they die than when they are alive. And this, and I honestly really want everyone to give people their flowers while they are living. Like, give them their flowers while they live and not while they're dead. <laughs> but, um,. <clears throat> Okay, um, but Prince last week snagged the number one and number two spot on Billboard's Top 200. The first one, if I'm not mistaken, was like the best of Prince. The second, so that was slot one. Slot two was the soundtrack for Purple Rain. <clears throat> so congrats to Prince, okay? Yeah, wait, see, oh, you know, if we're going to be very clear, very frank, um, even though I really didn't want to talk about the negative, <clears throat> but it's it's sad that, and um, I mean, again, if anybody on here is not black and y'all get mad about what I'm about to say, I'm sorry, but I'm only going to sit here and speak the truth. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> it's fucked up because you have other races that they die, they did so much fucking wrong, but they don't speak about none of that shit because that person is dead. But when a black person, and here's the thing, yes, Prince is black. Prince never was scared to let you know he was black. And then, and after he was done, you know, in his latter years, bro was rocking a fro on y'all asses. Motherfucker had a passport to slay y'all motherfucking prom pictures and shit, motherfuckers. Male and female slayed y'all mother prom pictures. Showed y'all asses he was black. 
And now people want to sit here and try to tarnish his name, want to call him, you know, a pill popper and all this other shit. It is so fucking sad. So <clears throat> on one hand, I'm glad he took the number one and top number one and top, number two top spot on the Billboard 200. It's just sad that even though that happens, you have people constantly, constantly, constantly coming for his name. And you have other people that are dying. You have people that have died in the past <clears throat> that on another scale have a bigger name than him. But you ain't heard them say shit bad about them despite the fact the shit they did while they were living. But now y'all want to sit here and come for Prince. Y'all want to sit here and say he has AIDS. Y'all want to sit and call him a pill popper and all this other shit. And it's saddening that they want to sit here and tarnish this man's name. It's sad and it's sickening. But all that I really wanted to say <clears throat> was um, he took the nut top two spots on the Billboard Top 200. And before we talk about who gonna get the L of the week and who gonna get the W of the week, can 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 we just talk about Empire right quick? Do, do I have permission to talk about Empire? Y'all let me know. Can, 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 can we talk about Empire for a quick second? Oh, you knew, oh, we knew that was gonna happen. We knew that was gonna happen. <clears throat> and I ain't trying. I ain't trying to hit nothing bad about Prince either. Nothing. Yes, I did. <clears throat> Tupac had hundreds, if not thousands, of songs that were unreleased. Okay. But let me go ahead and say this to y'all right quick. <clears throat> With Empire, y'all know I did reviews, or not really reviews, but talking points. For the first half, again, <clears throat> when it came back on, it was one of those where, y'all know, I said, I have a lot of shit going on just in my regular everyday life, even trying to figure out if I want to sit here and move to Germany. I have a lot of shit on my head right now. So I didn't want to sit and take on another fucking project. All right, there's that. But in watching it, <clears throat> I want to say, I have I I didn't come out on camera and say it. I don't think Boo Boo Kitty pushed Ron down the stairs. For whatever reason, <clears throat> I think the pastor pushed her down the stairs. I know this is fucking far-fetched. I know, I know, I know. But I think the pastor pushed her down the stairs. <clears throat> and that's only because if you think about the interaction they have, it's almost it is I'm only say, I'm only saying that. I th it might it might be thirsty, but if thirsty did it, he did it without he did it and Lucius did if thirsty did it, it was without Lucius's consent. If he did it, because they were having a boy, y'all know how Lucius feel about boys, and I'm pretty sure it was a boy. I think the pastor might have done it because think about the relationship that he and Andre has. and how it was almost like a double team when they said, you know, vanilla chocolate dropped down. I'm just saying, I am just saying, I have, I, I don't think that it is that convenient that, um, what's her name? <clears throat> Boo Kitty did it. And if she did, come on now, you really finna sit here and wear the same damn pumps, the same damn black bottoms. Really? And you finna wear these shit and your ass pregnant as fuck. That's all like, it's one of those what I, I, if if Boo Boo Kitty did it, then damn it, you know what? I'm fucking wrong. I think the pastor did it. That that's just my personal fucking thought. I think the pastor did it. I want to come on camera and say it. So if he did do it, y'all know I fucking said her that he fucking did it. Okay, I might be. I and like I said, they might just sit here and give us a real fake lazy reveal that oh shit, Anika did it. I don't know. Number one. I, I don't know the motive. I, I don't know shit. I don't know. <laughs> so that's one. Number two. Lucius and his mama. You still on third? Okay, again, we can agree to disagree. I just, I just don't think Anika did it. I don't think she did it. I don't. Especially, why would she get so close to old girl knowing that there is a chance that something can fall through the cracks and she can find out? Now, with Lucia's mama, okay, well, yeah, she is jealous. First and foremost, y'all know, y'all know, 
Y'all know how I feel about my peoples. Y'all know. Now, I'm going to say this. I'm going to mention something else. Hopefully, I don't lose y'all in the process. But I'm going to say it. Y'all know how I feel about, you know, the chocolatiness and the melanin. I have accepted the fact that if I get married, wifey probably not going to be black. Don't judge. No judging over here. Okay. But <laughs> exactly. Hit that with the eat the cake out of the bay, baby. But I did not like how. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, shit. I cannot. I cannot think of. Well, I guess uh, Lucifer's mother's name is going to be Lilith. Lilith. But I didn't like how you had a chocolatey queen as his mother in her young ages. And now the mama night chocolate no more. So you couldn't find an older black woman to sit here and play that role. I'm pretty sure Gladys Knight could have. I don't know if Gladys Knight could have gave us the crazy that she given us. I don't. But Gladys could have gave us the vocals. Better vocals. Did she give it up? I'm just saying. I'm not saying. I'm just like that really upset. And I, I haven't said anything about it on a video. And I think this is probably the perfect place to talk about it. That upset my spirit. That upset my spirit now. They could they, they could have. Yeah, I'm I'm it, and again, I'm I'm not hating because old girl is old girl playing this role to the motherfucking T. Don't don't get me don't get it don't get me wrong don't get it twisted. All that I'm saying is if you were going to do this and if she was going to be the mother from Jump Street, they should have casted somebody to play the role who was of like skin tone from the very beginning. That is all that I'm saying. So that has me feeling <laughs> that has me feeling some kind of way. Yeah, why well, switch up the skin tone? Exa exactly. Just just give it to us now. Oh yeah, and I, I said she is wearing his mother, and you, and it's one of those where, in regards to what you say about Terrence, Terrence is playing this their role too. No matter what you had to say about him before, this chemistry, even though there could be more, but the fact that he is playing off of this fucking fear, I'm just like, you know what? Oh, okay, this is acting. Okay, this is fucking. Acting at its, I'm, I, I was here for it. Just, uh, <laughs> I will say, as I was watching the last waking minute and a half of the show, I wanted to like fast forward through it because I'm just like, I, I was like, no, don't kill Lucius, don't kill Lucius, like that. That's what I was thinking. I, I'm not gonna fucking lie. I'm not, I'm not gonna fucking lie, but, but. <clears throat> I will say this, hopefully, remember how Lucius had cameras in, in his house and in his bedroom and he saw the clip of Cookie uh, trying to, uh, you know, suffocate him. Hopefully, there is a camera in that room and there is a clip and possibly audio of this so he can show this shit to Andre so he can look at Andre and be like, nigga, do you see what the fuck you unleashed on this fucking family? Hopefully. I don't know. But we will see. We will definitely, definitely see. I think that's all that I really wanted to address from Empire because it's just shit that's been sitting on my spirit. And I've been wanting to talk about it. Okay? I've been wanting to talk about it. Um... I say y'all know I be watching Arrow, Flash, and Gotham. You feel me? That 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 be that be getting on me too. I, you know that main thing. Yeah, that's the question with the main thing too. I know. So, if, well, they're not going to kill anybody off the main show. But I think when they say one line is going to go down, I think a line is going to get shot. I don't think they're going to necessarily kill anybody from the main cast because it's just like you do this no now i have a feeling that maybe the lion that's going to go down is probably going to be anika's baby because again like i think anika's going to have a fucking miscarriage it, it would not fucking surprise me if anika has a fucking miscarriage <laughs> Told, told eat the cake. 
eat the fucking cake. Yeah, I was, I, I, I died. I died. And talk about some, I was weak then, I'm not weak now. The only thing, like, man, you, I, I'm done. Okay, here's the thing. That's still your mama. That is still your mom. I, my mom is in her 60s. But there's certain shit I'm going to say no to. But if my dude tell me to do some shit, uh, I'm going to do some shit. Okay? It, it, it's that damn simple. It, it's that damn simple. I'm going to still do some shit. Okay. Oh. Good point. I mean... <sighs> If 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 I read that like if I mean, I could give my mama that look, it don't mean sh- y'all not gonna get my ass fucked up. No no no. All right, so <laughs> but that is it. That is all that I have, you guys. Uh, on this uh, you know um, Mother's Day Sunday, we've been here for about a good hour and thirty minutes, so. I apologize for last week. Uh, hopefully, after I get everything moved and I got fucking a couple videos to pu- push out today, hopefully I can get all this shit done. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. But thank you guys for rocking out with me. Thank you guys for being here. Um, like I said, if I can do this, I will let y'all know via the Facebook fan page. <laughs> I'm glad y'all showed up today. I- I'm glad y'all showed up. You need to laugh. Fuck. I need to laugh today. But, um, Thank you guys so, so much for uh, showing up. You have one, too. Hopefully, you all have a blessed, blessed, happy Mother's Day. All that good jazz. All right. I t- Thank you. Thank you. See, I thank you. I forgot. Wait, 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 wait. Before we sign off. All right. My bad. See, see, see. I didn't, I didn't get so giddy and shit. I forgot. Okay. Who's going to take the L of the week? Because I told, I would because I would get our camera been so fucking mad that we didn't do it. Okay, so who's going to take the L of the week, y'all? I mean, there's so many different people to fucking choose from. <laughs> well, we can't really count that. We can't count that as an L. As much as I know y'all want to. Kevin McCall... Okay, Kevin McCall. Okay, that's that's one. I would have said Monetta Shaw, but okay, we gonna we got one for Kevin t- with a T on the end. We could also say Mariah Carey for giving that fucked up lap. Oh shit, Caitlyn. <laughs> All right, so we got one for Kevin, one for Caitlyn, two for Caitlyn. Okay. I'm just saying Mariah, but okay. Don't forget we had Lil' Kim and shit. Three for Kate. Well, fuck. I guess y'all just said fuck Kim. Kaylee for this. this I think how to do this last week. Kim would have probably took it for last week, but we're going to say Caitlyn. <laughs> we turned the L. That's only if you look at the cover or whatever. No. I said I, I'm just not watching it, not buying it, not doing any of that shit. Not doing it. No. <laughs> so I'm guessing that we're gonna sit here and say that um Caitlin takes the uh L for this week. Is is that a consensus? <laughs> Alright, y'all. So Caitlin takes the L for <clears throat> we'll just say the, the last two weeks because y'all know I've been going for two weeks so for the last two weeks Caitlyn takes the L who takes the W for these last two weeks now part of me wants to say Mother Eva part of, I, I, I really do want to say that only because she got the baby daddy ass all the way to fuck together but I don't know y'all, y'all let me know who y'all think I mean, y'all could say let Waka know that he been put on notice, and I think that this shit didn't set here and glitched on me again. I think this shit didn't glitch, y'all. Gosh darn it. Okay, okay, alright. Government's like, what the fuck? Alright, so 
Who gonna take the W? Y'all y'all gotta let me know. Oh, Black China. Okay. Cena to New Kardashian. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I don't know how to fuck. Like, man. This is just uh, this is dysfunction, okay? <laughs> It is his function at his fucking best. Angela Kardashian. Okay. I mean, how was she? So she paid because she got knocked up. She in love. You do things when you're in love. Look at my eyes. <laughs> do not play. Okay, so I guess we all agree. That the L of this week goes to Caitlyn Jenter, and the W of this week goes to Black China. All right. <laughs> so, all right, you guys. <clears throat> so that's it. Officially, now I can sign off, y'all. So, on some real shit. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have no idea that you guys have been therapy for this guy over here. A good fucking laugh, a good fucking kiki, all that good shit. <clears throat> Hopefully, next week gives us more. Right now, it's what, 2.35. So what I'm going to try to do, she's going to, oh Lord, emojis. I'm going to try and get this transcribed within the next hour move the set upstairs because i'm only moving up a floor but around the corner try to get the set moved upstairs watch shots of sunset get that recorded and then do the other two videos so wish me luck <clears throat> if i don't get it done y'all at least gonna get love and hip-hop today at least all right so thank you guys so much for watching i love all of you rate comment subscribe and i will see you guys on the uh next video say or See you guys back here next week. Same time, same place. All right. Well, okay, no, I'm lying. Same time, different place. Because we're going to be upstairs and shit. But all right, love you guys. Peace. <laughs>